Hi, this is Kevin Trainer. Welcome to my lecture on the project schedule uh, for the uh, fall 2016 senior capstone uh, project. I'm teaching uh, two sections of senior capstone here in the fall of 2016. And they both have the same schedule, although one's on campus and one is online. And I've been using a pretty rough looking spreadsheet for the past uh, four or five weeks to try to um, convey the schedule that we're going to be following um, as it has emerged. We're doing a little different than we've done in past uh, semesters. And um, I, I have... Uh, I have a good feeling about this one. So uh, this is as much a review as anything else. So the document that I'm showing here, uh, it has all the weeks in the semester, 1 through 16. Uh, week 16 is right before Christmas, and we're not really going to be using it. OK? So um, it turns out that the hand-in for all of the uh, deliverables for the project is going to be in the, in the last uh, seconds of uh, week 15. OK? OK, so even though that we're showing the uh, deliverables due in week 15, it's at the very end of week 15. OK? And uh, uh, nothing in week uh, 16, including uh, no classes, no exams, no anything, which is nothing, of course. Uh, OK, so we are, as I'm recording this, about to start week six. OK, and if you look at the schedule, the first uh, column in which I'm, I'm trying to convey what goes on is uh, team formation. And as of the end of this week, we should have our teams formed. And that means if you're not on a team, or you have a team that's not properly formed, you have to get in contact with me, and we've got to solve that pronto. OK? Now, I haven't heard from anyone that they haven't been able to get on a team, or any team that they haven't been able to form up. But um, now is the time to let me know immediately. OK, so then having formed our teams, we're going to follow the Agile process as we've learned it from the Leighton book. OK, and um, even though a lot of people think that there's no planning involved in Agile, of course, if you've been paying attention to the Leighton book, you'll know that that's not true. There is a uh, planning involved in Agile. It's just lighter weight approaches to planning. And we do it um, probably as late in the process as we can possibly do it. So we do have our first uh, kind of team a dedicated week is week six, the week uh, coming up. And that's our planning week. That's the week in which I'm expecting you to do your uh, project vision document and your um, product roadmap uh, document. OK? Now, your product roadmap uh, document, is, as I've been saying, is going to be made easier because um, we're only going to have a single release of software. We have a pretty small project here. So um, um, one aspect of the road uh, map is trying to identify um, features and when we're we're planning to introduce them, even though we can change our mind when we get to the beginning of a sprint and we can, you know, we can go off the schedule from the roadmap, in which case I guess we should go back and revise the roadmap. But even though we're free at the beginning of each sprint to decide what's going to be included in that sprint, the roadmap is is a kind of a grand plan. Okay. So, um, but one aspect of the roadmap, this uh, 
which release features are going to get into, we've really only got two buckets. We've got, um, we're expecting this uh, feature to get into the product, or we're not. We're, you know, we're thinking it's a nice idea that we want to track, but we're thinking it's going to be left on the backlog when we get done. All right. So week six is a planning week. Then we're all going to do four two week long sprints that are going to begin on early Monday morning, you know, 12.01 a.m. Okay, and they're going to end and uh, two weeks later on uh, uh, Sunday evening as we come to the end of our course uh, week. Okay, so um, uh, I've had um, some challenges in the past in getting uh, students to really uh, commit to uh, the timing of the sprint. They, uh, well, when you haven't really done it, it's hard to see the value in it. And the real value in having sprints of a given length is, uh, one, it creates the whole uh, time boxing, right? And there's a lot of positive things about uh, time boxing. We tend to be more serious about choosing what we're going to work on when we're working in a limited uh, uh, time frame. But you know, the flip side of that coin is you've got to be serious about the time frame and you have to be willing to come to the end of the time frame and say, hey, you know, not everything got done. We're going to have to put some things back on the backlog and maybe we'll take them up in the next sprint. We're going to have to talk to the product owner. We'll figure out what the most important things are. But you have to be willing to come to an end of a sprint and say, you know, we only got the two thirds of what we thought we we're going to get done done. That's OK. That's a part of the learning process. So that's the reason we fixed the lengths of the sprint in the current semester. So we're going to have four two-weekers, OK? And then we're going to have a special release sprint where we're going to release the software. In our case, because we probably are installing it on a server for our client, it's like an install uh, week. And um, at the end of that week, we should be done. Done, 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 done with everything. So done with the software, done with the documentation, done with the training. Um, uh, we should have um, the delivered system is the embodiment of all the things that you deliver to the client. The demo video is uh, a demo video. The project report is a written report that you guys are going to have to do that includes the documentation from the Agile process and uh, uh, some insights on you know the learning that went on during the project. Okay, And those are all due at the very end of week 15. All right. So, uh, so you know, which means mm, Sunday night, 11.55 p.m. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so this shouldn't be a change. The only thing that's maybe a change is I, I think I had maybe said that um, uh, the deliverables were going to be due the first day of week 16. Well, um, I'm saving you from yourself. OK, um, we're going to take week 16 off. OK, we've got, we got a holidays coming up there and we've got to, you know, we have to rest up. It's important. All right. So if there's a change, it's uh, that. So I look forward to answering questions about the schedule or solving any issues, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I appreciate your patience in having seen informal versions of this before and not this more formal version. And I'd like to thank um, um, one student in particular who said, uh, can we get a formal version of that schedule um, in the on-campus uh, class for giving me the inspiration of cleaning this thing up. 
So that's it. Um, in addition to being posted here in this uh, week six weekly schedule, you'll find a copy of this on the D2L. Um, if you go to the content uh, tab, uh, there's a subcategory now for project schedule, and the only thing under it is a copy of this uh, PDF. So if you need to find one in a hurry, uh, that might be a place you'd want to go. All right. I'm going to say bye until next time. Bye-bye.